Hey everyone, welcome to Instant Info. Today's video is going to be counting down the top 10 YouTubers who made their own movies. Our list today ranges from YouTubers you've heard of to a few hidden gems. If there's any YouTubers you think we've missed from this list, make sure to tell us down below. Let's get right into it. Number 10. Starting off our list is none other than Luke Cutfall. This British YouTuber has had a passion for filmmaking for years and is currently in the process of making The Drowning of Arthur Braxton. Planned to be released in 2017, The Drowning of Arthur Braxton will be a feature film based off the acclaimed novel by Caroline Smayer. Number 9. Coming in at number 9 is Shane Dawson. This young actor from California started off making YouTube videos as a hobby and now has his own feature film titled Not Cool. Shane acted, directed, edited and produced this film. Number 8. Not all films have to be full length. That's why coming in at number 8 is Sammy Paul. Sammy has made a fair number of short films, such as Friend Like Me, which she not only wrote, but also directed. A large number of YouTubers have starred in his short films. Just a few examples are Dodie Clark, Chris Kendall, and Tim H. Number 7. Hannah Hart is most known for her YouTube series, My Drunk Kitchen. But this talented comedian and internet star was also an executive producer and acted in the feature film Camp Dakota. Hannah's character in the movie has many similarities with herself, including the fact that she is a cook, they both like wine, and they're both openly gay. Number 6. Hannah Hart was not the only YouTuber to play a part in the making of Camp Dakota. Working alongside her was none other than Grace Halbig. This New Jersey born YouTuber has millions of fans following her from her YouTube channel, It's Grace. Just like Hannah, Grace not only acted in Camp Dakota, but was also an executive producer. Number 5. PJ McWhorty is a British YouTuber and filmmaker, more commonly known by his channel name of Kick the PJ. On June 24, 2016, PJ uploaded a short film to his channel by the name of Here and Brimstone. PJ not only directed Here and Brimstone, but he also was a writer, producer, executive producer, editor, sound designer, as well as playing a small role in the short film. Number 4. Internet star Lily Singh, also known as Superwoman on YouTube, released a documentary via YouTube Red this year. The documentary was titled A Trip to Unicorn Island and covered both the on-stage and backstage sections of the world tour. It included intake from various people, ranging from friends and family, all the way up to celebrities like Dwayne Johnson. Number 3. In 2009, a five-minute short film by the name of Panic Attack was uploaded to YouTube. It was uploaded by Fede Alvarez, whose channel name is Fede Alvar. As of recording this video, Panic Attack has over 7.6 million views. Fede Alvarez directed and animated the short film. Number 2. Though they are widely known for their popular YouTube series React, the Fine Brothers, Benny and Raffi Fine, have also had some experience in filmmaking. In 2009, the Fine Brothers released a TV movie by the name of My Profile Story. The film also included YouTubers such as Leesbug and Shane Dawson. Number 1. Taking out the number one spot is Casey Neistat. Even though Casey is mostly known on YouTube for his daily vlog series, which is now over, he also has a lot of experience with filmmaking. One of his films is called Daddy Long Legs, otherwise known as Go Get Some Rosemary. Casey Neistat produced this feature film as well as did some acting and stunts for the film. So that's the list. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe while you're at it. Let us know down below what's your favourite film. And we'll see you all next week.